Hey guys, I'm Dr. Angelica Underwood with the 60 day challenge, day 17. I am so glad to be here. By now, according to statistics, a lot of people are dropping their New Year's resolution and I want you to keep yours. I want your dreams to come true. I want your goal to really uh, be energized and for you to achieve it. And I'm hoping that you are creating one where you can create within 60 days. So if you are here and you're ready to um, for the eight superhero archetypes that you can use as a fun way to approach your goals, okay? Now, during my recovery these past three years, and they were long years, let's put it that way, where I was recovering because I was going through a lot of chronic illness and I was trying to get better. And what I what happened during that time is that I was watching a lot of TV, okay? And I mean, that's all I could really do because I was there laying down. And yes, I would read, but I started watching TV, which I really didn't do much during um, my years of living because I was a workaholic. And here I am watching TV. And what I decided to watch were superhero uh, series in Netflix, okay? So what I noticed were common traits that they all had and or they all possessed. And the first trait that I really noticed that they all had were extraordinary powers and abilities. Hey, Ashley and everybody and anybody joining, um, go ahead and comment and like, and we can make this engaging. And if you want to mention what your superhero or your favorite superhero is, go ahead and mention it below. But what I noticed that one of the common traits was extraordinary powers and abilities. For example, Superman, he was bulletproof, you know, and it didn't matter how they shot, nothing would hurt him, right? Because he had this vest. And uh, hey, Steve, good to see you. And what I want to tell you is that when you're creating your goals, there's going to be a lot of negative people out there that might want to destroy your dream and your goal. And what happens, those are bullets coming towards you that are going to affect you if you don't put on that bulletproof vest, just like Superman. And if you begin to use this activity that I'm giving you to have fun, play, enjoy it while you're creating because everything's a process, you know, and during the process, you have to enjoy it. The more you enjoy life, the more fruitful things will be, okay? So if people are coming towards you with negative thoughts, just put on that vest, just like Superman, and don't let it hurt you, you know? Um, the other common trait that I noticed, they all had courage. All of them had courage. And courage doesn't imply that you're not going to have fear. You will have fear. You're going to question yourself. You're going to have doubts. But you know what? They had doubts and they had fears, but they had courage. They stood up against that villain, against that bad guy, you know? And they were willing to go towards this bad guy because they wanted to face the injustice. They wanted to stand up for what they believed was true. So you need to believe in your goal, in your dream. And once you believe in it, you're going to stand up strong, you know? And when you stand up strong with courage, you need to actually take that pose, you know? The other day, I was trying to submit this proposal for this big company and it, it involves a lot of money and I was having doubts, you know, I was really having doubts. But then I thought for a second, what do I need to believe? What do I need to think? How do I need to stand? And, and I stood there. I remembered uh, this um, uh, superwoman, right? <laughs> and, and how she stands and just stood in that pose of courage. And then I was able to submit that button and submit that proposal because there was a moment there that I doubted myself, right? But again, I took 
cur I had courage to take it to that next level. So that was the next trait that I found they had common. And the next one was motivation and a sense of responsibility. They all had this sense of responsibility because, for example, Spider-Man, right? If you've seen Spider-Man, Peter Parker, his motivation was to make sure that no criminal out there would hurt anybody like they like they did with his uncle. His uncle was killed. So he made it and he stood up towards these bad guys so that he would stop crime and it wouldn't happen again and these people wouldn't get hurt. So you're gonna have to have something that really motivates you, that really helps you take a sense of responsibility and saying, no more. I'm gonna do this because this is not gonna happen anymore, right? For example, I'm coming up with a radio show and it's for people that, um, I love podcasting. I don't know if you guys have followed me. You've seen my podcast and I've had several. But this one's going to be really special and it's going to be for people who are experiencing cancer just like I did. People who are missing parts of their body, you know. And it's going to be called, I'm not going to tell you. But I really want to make a difference and I want to impact this group of people. And it's a sense of responsibility. I feel responsible to give a message and to encourage women to keep going no matter what. And that's what you have to do. You have to find out why do you want to do what you want to do and really own it and be motivated to inspire other people and help them and take them to that next step. You know, how are you going to impact people? So that's something you need to start thinking. The sixth trait that I saw that all these superheroes had was intelligence. They all developed a plan to figure out how to defeat the bad guys. All of them had a plan. So let me tell you, you need a plan. You need to sit down and, and not leave those ideas in your head because they get lost. You need to sit down and really define a plan. How are you going to defeat your fears? How are you going to defeat doubts? How are you... What skills do you need? If you need any, how are you going to develop those skills so that your goal can be achieved? You know, so begin thinking and sit down and develop this plan. Okay. Now, today I was thinking that if I shared these archetypes, that it would help you conquer your fears and really achieve your goal that you are probably working with me during the 60 day challenge. Now, the next trait that I saw that was very common among all these superheroes was commitment. All these superheroes were committed to the end no matter what. No matter how difficult the challenge was with these bad guys, they developed a plan and they were committed to the end. So how committed are you towards your goal? How committed are you? Do you really want to achieve this goal? I mean, you really have to want it. Like I said, said earlier, you have to have that sense of responsibility, commitment, courage. You really need to stand strong in order for you to achieve your goal. Now, take charge of your life today, you know? Share, like, comment below. Tell me what your superhero is. Which one's your favorite superhero? Um, I really like Flash, guys. <laughs> so I've been watching Flash, like, all the series, and I want to watch it again. But which one is yours? And how does it fit your life? And how can you apply those traits into your um your life so that you can create and achieve your goals. Have fun with this activity. Go deeper, you know. And before I end it, the eighth trait was that all superheroes had a mastermind. They had a team of people that helped them come up with strategies, come up with a plan, come up with the weaknesses and the strengths that that bad guy had, that villain had. They would all sit and brainstorm and they all had their special, the specialties, their expertise. And that's what I'm here to create for you 
is a community, a mastermind where you can come and we can begin to brainstorm. I'm going to have one called Put Your Dreams to the Test, and I'm hoping that you join me soon. And if you're interested, inbox me and I will send you more information. But share, like, and comment below um, regarding the superhero archetypes and how you could use these traits and this activity to help you take your goals to the next level. I am here for 60 days. Today's day 17th, and I'm hoping to be here with you tomorrow. So join me again and share, like, and comment below. And I will see you tomorrow. Hugs to all and be a superhero. Have courage, have a sense of responsibility, and be committed to your goals because I know you could achieve your goals. You can achieve anything if you believe in it, okay? And I believe in you. So go for your dreams, go for your goals, and put your dreams to the test in my next mastermind. See you later. Bye-bye.